County schools still facing widespread issues with remote learning. On Monday, the district returned to class virtually, and today school leaders are acknowledging it was a rough start to the semester. The Cobb County School Board meeting today to hash out the issues and update families on the status of virtual learning. CBS 46's Rob Hughes live in Cobb County for us tonight. So, Rob, what are administrators saying? Well, they're saying it's full steam ahead with remote learning for now. Right now, they have no intention whatsoever of actually setting a date for a return to in-person instruction. And meanwhile, many families we've spoken to still can't log into that online learning portal, leaving their kids demoralized. We're spending $8 million on a platform that is not working. Tiffany Hartzell has three sons in Cobb County schools. Now, four days into the school year, and she says her first grader hasn't been able to log into any of his classes. According to Cobb County Schools Superintendent Chris Ragsdale, about 6,000 of the 113,000 students in the district are still offline. It, it truly was a perfect storm, um, and, and we've identified a lot of different things that, that we need to do to remedy that. Right now, the plan is to work through the kinks and bring all Cobb County students up to speed. Meanwhile, parents like Hartzell want more options, including face-to-face -face instruction. That's what really upsets me is we just don't have a choice. Superintendent Ragsdale says he understands many parents like Hartzell want a set date for a return to in-person learning, but says it's not possible. Yes, we have to get back in school, but we have to identify those paths for us to be able to get back in school where it's safe. As Cobb County schools wait for a decline in COVID-19 metrics, families like the heart cells feel left behind by remote learning. They're disappointed. They're starting not to like school. I mean, my younger two just do not like to sit in front of a computer all day. And you can't make this up just in the last hour or so. We're learning that that online learning portal CTLS is down once again. A teacher actually sending a message to the parents of the children in this one school saying that it is a problem that is district wide today. So the problems in Cobb County schools with remote learning in week one persist in Cobb County. Rob Hughes, CBS 46 News.